In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about the list builder I'm currently using. I switched off of Battlescribe and I've gotten a lot of questions about what I'm using, how to use it, do I recommend it and all that good stuff. So I wanted to cover it in this video. And yeah, let's talk a little bit about the list builder, about building lists and all that good stuff. If you enjoyed the content, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. As well as checking the links down in the description below if you want to support what I do. My name is Eplash and this is Senpai of War Games. Alright, in today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about new recruit. As a lot of you have pointed out, I've switched over, the lists look different, and I've ever since gotten a ton of questions. Why are you using new recruit? Why did you switch, switch over? What is the name of the website or program you're using? All that good stuff. So let's start from the very beginning while you're looking at the new recruit website. So I switched off of Battlescribe simply because, for one, the developer is a little bit shady, and two, new recruit just allows me to kind of add visuals and add and change the color, just matching the channel, basically. It looks better, it is easier to read, and I have a lot more options when it comes to just designing the list and visual support. That's basically the reason I switched over. The one downside that New Recruit has currently is that it doesn't have a mobile app. What you can do, though, is download the entire website just locally and have it available that way, even if you don't have any internet on your phone wherever you are. The only reason I think this could be a downside is if you're kind of playing in a basement in the middle of nowhere and you don't have any internet or anything, but that rarely happens where I am, so that's not a big downside for me. If you need a dedicated app, you know, you can support New Recruit or you can just talk to them and maybe they are going to consider it at some point. When it comes to New Recruit itself, it's just a great page. It offers everything I wanted to do. And the layout is just great as well. We are going to go over all of that in a little bit. But first up, as soon as you're going to open the page, you're probably just going to see download all for offline use. As I mentioned, you can definitely do that. And you can add more games. You're only going to see those two options. For me, I already downloaded all the relevant things for myself uh, because those are the games I play. I play a little bit of Aer Aeronautica Imperialis here or there. I play a little bit of Necromunda, Warcry, Age of Sigmar, 10th Edition, and Kill Team. There are more options if you open the list. Uh, you have other very popular systems like Bolt Action, like Flames of War. Um, Infinity should be around here somewhere as well. And yeah, if you want to add other systems, you can definitely do that. Now, the cool thing about New Recruit is that it uses the same data sets as Battlescribe. So as soon as the Battlescribe data sets get updated because, uh, you know, a new Minotaur field manual is released or a new codex is released, it is basically updated at the same time for New Recruit. That makes things easy because you can use the lists you're exporting for Yellow Scribe and Tabletop Simulator, and you can use them for basically anything else. It is all very easy. The switch over from Battle Scribe, if you've been used to it, over to New Recruit is just super easy and I highly recommend it. So, how about we go over to Warma 40k and take a look at how list building works and why I think it's so great. So first up, I clicked on Warhammer 40k 10th edition, and then it's going to show me a couple of my lists. Obviously, if you're going to open it for yourself, uh, you're not going to see anything. So let's just delete all of them, and that is what you're going to see. You can sort them, you can name them, you can do all of that good stuff, and you can even import your old Battlescribe list if that is something you want. So as I said, the transfer or the, the switch over from Battlescribe to New Recruit, super easy. And you can just click on Create List, and then you pick your army, in this case, I'm just going to pick Necrons, and I'm going to name this list Test List. And you can change the cost limit here, although you can also change it in during list building, simply because you can change it between Strike Force and all that good stuff and Onslaught. And what you can do next is click on Add Force. That is going to then allow you to uh, click on Create List. Now, why is this important? Just a quick explainer. Um, if you wanted to play a narrative campaign or something, and that narrative campaign, um, wants you or you want your friends or yourself to be able to play, um, I don't know, soup lists or something, which contain Space Marines, for example, Sisters of Battle and Adeptus Custodius, you can do that by simply, um, yeah, picking all of them, clicking on it, and then clicking Add Force, and that way you are going to have all of that in one list. I could do, now click Add Force, and I would have Death Watch together with my Necrons, and all of that neatly kind of sorted in one list. So if you wanted to do that, easily doable. 
Um, you can play Suplis for Chaos, for example. So if you want to add Chaos Demons to your, I don't know, Death Guard, you can just do it that way. You just click on Death Guard, add Force, click on uh, Chaos Demons, add Force, done. Then you click on Create List, and that is what you're going to see. And yeah, it, I think everything is explained relatively easy. Here you have the battle size. As I said, you can pick between Incursion, Strike Force, and Onslaught. Um, then you have the detachment choice. I picked Necrons because they obviously got their new codex and they have a couple of detachment options that is going to change a ton of your options and things. And then you have show and hide options. For Space Marines, this is a lot more extensive. Do you want the program to show you firstborn units? Do you want them to hide primaries units? You can do all of that. I'm usually always hiding Legends units because I'm personally not playing with them, but you can do it up to your preference. When it comes to the color scheme, we are going to go over that in a little bit, but the color scheme is obviously kind of centered around what the channel lo currently looks like, and I'm obviously going to change that for next year, because every year I'm the first, they're changing the channel theme and the coloring, and yeah, that's just something really cool and that I really appreciate about New Recruit. And when it comes to the characters and, and models and units it's themselves, you can just add them super easily. I have the Overlord here on the left-hand side, I click on the Overlord, and it is added. And you can always see which unit is in focus on the right-hand side via the stripe textured background here. So if I switch over to show and hide options or detachment choice or battle size, you're quickly going to see that the texture behind them is going to change. And yeah, on the right-hand side, you just have all the options as you know them from Battlescribe and basically any other list builder. The cool thing about New Recruit that I failed to show a couple of seconds ago is that you can also specify lists to be for botting actions. That is something that not even the official app for Warhammer offers, and you are paying a ton of money for that. So that's weird. And it's cool that it's here. So if you want to kind of construct botting action specific lists, you can select that at the very start. So yeah, I added the Overlord, and all you need to do is kind of make it your Warlord, and you can click on the I icon here to view the profiles, and it is neatly going to show you everything you need to know about your Overlord. And it is displayed nicely here. You can scroll down a little bit if the <laughs> rules are a little bit longer than what can be displayed on one screen. And yeah, you have everything you need just there. It, is, it just works. <laughs> and that's, that's how you play, you know? You don't need to spend a ton of money to play Warhammer. Spend your money on miniatures, not on stupid books and overpriced apps that GW offers. Um, use New Recruit, use Wahapedia for all your rules, have fun playing and paint miniatures and buy miniatures. Because that's why we are playing this damn game and that's why I'm making this damn video. I want you to not spend money on your books uh, unless you want to, unless you like the lore, the you know, or if you're a book collector or something. But if you're just here in the hobby, new to the hobby and you want to play and you want to spend your money uh, for miniatures, you definitely can. You don't need any box at all. Um, and then, you know, you just add more units. And you can add Necro Warriors. And here I can pick between Gauss Reaper and Gauss Flay on the right-hand side. And you can also mix and match the unit however I want to. And as soon as you make a mistake, the program is also going to let you know. Because, you know, units that are not battle line, you can only add three of them, for example. So if I add four Lich Guard units, there's going to be this red marker here. And as soon as you hover over it, it is going to let you know that the army roster is limited to three selections of Lich Guard and you have four instead. So you're going to just delete it and it is going to fix itself. So if you're new to the hobby, if you're new to list building, um, you're going to know whenever you make a mistake. It's that simple. When it comes to weapon selections, you can also always click um, on weapons on the right hand side. and You can um, choose between sword and board and war side. War side. And you can just click on the I button here as well. And it is going to show you what the different weapon options do. Sword and Bot obviously gives you a 4 and vulnerable save and a weaker profile. Meanwhile, the War Scythe is going to not give you any invulnerable save, but instead a weapon with devastating wounds and a way better profile. And that is basically that. And that is how list building works. All you really need to know from here on out is what you want to build. And then you can go on the top right and you can go on list options. You can delete the list, you can duplicate it, you can modify cost limits, export the list. And as I said, it works for Tabletop Simulator and, you know, Yellow Scribe as well. You know, you know. Um, and then you can also, you know, share the list and do all kinds of stuff with it. And it is 
just super easy to switch over from Battlescribe to New Recruit. Furthermore, if you go onto the menu, you can create a username and login. You don't need to do that. I never did that, but you could. And then you can go to options. If you do that, you can change the appearance. And the appearance is really the reason why I switched over. It may seem a little bit weird, but that is the reason I switched over because I can make the list look fitting for Empire of War games and make it fit the color scheme that we have going on. And it just looks great, okay? Um, the visual design and the font and everything they are using on the website can be changed as well. So if you don't like it, you can just, you know, go over here, change the font. You can change the font size. Um, if you maybe, you don't know, have trouble seeing things, you can change the arrows if you prefer that design. And you're having a ton of options here. And, you know, the page itself gives you a ton of different options, different colors. You can pick um, a few different languages, not a ton of them available, but at least there are two other options next to English. You can text export. You have options there. You can PDF export. You have all the options you ever want. And, you know, you can just always go back to home and click on Age of Sigmar. Here I have my list. Those were the lists for the Battle Force videos. You can click on home again, go to Armor 40k, and my Necron list is there. You don't need to save anything. It is obviously going to automatically save everything. And I just click here and it works. It's that easy. So yeah, if you are curious what I'm using in the background and what I use to create my list, it is definitely New Recruit. Um, as I said, I have no idea who the developers are, but I want to give them a shout out because I really like the website and it works beautifully for me personally. So yeah, I strongly recommend it. If you want to stick with Battlescribe, do so. Um, if you want to have a alternative to the Warhammer app, if you don't want to pay a ton of money, this is the way to go. Because um, yeah, if you want to support New Recruit, you can do that. If you don't, you don't. And that's basically the entire ordeal. If you have any questions about, you know, building lists, about New Recruit itself, if you have any particular questions about it, uh, drop them down in the comments below and we are going to discuss them there. Other than that, I hope this was insightful and helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.